all about your small business. That's why this is their biggest Black Friday in July sale ever. Help me, why you keep <sighs> ah! 4725 baby Woo! FKT oh, Mount Beerstadt July 12th 2018 Now let's see how we do on the descent See you at the car There's the summit Oh baby. All right, I don't know what my total time was. I, I have it recorded, but I don't know what it is right now. Don't mind, uh, don't mind me, I'm just talking to the camera. Was it a big, big group? Yeah. Yeah. I passed them, uh... All right, folks. Uh... You all, who, for those that watch the vlog on a regular basis and watch the other running videos, you probably have learned uh, when I'm breathing hard in the mountains, i really breathing, I was breathing hard at the top there. Uh, that felt like Pikes Peak, the Pikes Peak Ascent race last year. I don't know if I've uh, had that much lung burn since that race uh, at the top of Beerstat today. And I believe that's a new FKT, pretty sweet. Uh, I'm gonna go home and confirm that, and I'm just grateful. Like, see you at the house. <laughs> little thirsty, little thirsty after that run. <sighs> the day marches on. Just got done filming for the night. Who drove home? Wow, what a day! Started at 4:30 a.m. It's now about 10 p.m. I'm tired, but. I want to just talk about what happened on Mount Beerstadt. Yeah, that's right. Course record, baby. Fastest known time in FKT, as it's called. Um, or as Strava likes to call it, King of the Mountain Moment. So, basically, uh, I, yeah, I wanted to break the record. And sure enough, it happened. 47 minutes and 35 seconds to the top of Mount Beerstadt from the trailhead. And then total time, round trip, was one hour in 21 minutes and 11 seconds as if anyone's counting if it's if it, and so i'm excited listen what is the secret why am i setting course records on these 14ers basically i'm not afraid to train in the winter on the same mountains <laughs> You gotta go year round, folks. You gotta be committed to the uphill, high altitude efforts for your lungs and your aerobic development year round. It's just that simple. Second thing is that I'm not running 100 miles a week or 120 miles a week. I'm running 70 miles a week. It's not that much, but I'm supplementing the high, the mileage with weightlifting. And so what I've discovered, this is my secret, I'm letting my secret out of the bag, is isolating my left leg specifically for weightlifting and making my left leg stronger. My left leg is very, very weak compared to my right leg because for the last 32 years, I've been using my right leg to play soccer, to jump for basketball, to throw the boys up in the air and so of course my right leg is going to be stronger so what i'm realizing is for uphill running having two legs that are just that are equally strong is really good that's a good thing and so that is my secret my tip of the day if you want to get faster at running and faster at specifically uphill running make sure both legs are equally strong and so i'm doing leg presses with one leg uh, lunges with one leg and lastly on this fine fine day is 
the rat. The rat is winning. This is the fourth, no, the third, last night was the third attempt to defeat the rat at this house. I have tried a small mouse trap, the snap, snap kind. I've tried poison, neither worked. So I got the big mouse trap, the big one. Boom! No, it did not work either last night. The, the, the rat got the cheese and it didn't get the rat. So we're gonna try again for the fourth time, fourth time, we're gonna try and defeat the rat. Question of the day at the end of the vlog, how do you defeat a rat or maybe multiple rats? I don't know. This thing must be huge because it stole the first mouse trap. <sighs> Seek beauty, work hard, run uphill or walk. Walk uphill, that's good too. Good for your health, good for your lungs, good for your blood flow. It's good, it's good. <sighs> and love each other. See you tomorrow.